guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Felicia everybody calls me Flick in today's video as you can see by the title I am attempting a look with as many of my P. Louise products as I can um, I've chosen specific palettes for this look obviously I'm assuming you'll be able to guess by looking at my eyes which ones I've used um, so yeah if you want to see how I get on and how many I managed to make my way through then keep on watching right so aim of this video is to use as much pillow as i can i will be doing one eye on one eye off purely for time sensitive purposes um so i've dotted out my base number two my pink my purple and my blue on here i've got a little of each i've already done my brows with my brow balm and my brow pencil um and i'm gonna just I'm actually also just thinking about it going to be used with my tape. Okay, I'm going to take more of my 7072s. And first thing I'll do is I'm going to take these, I'm going to go pink, purple, blue, and I'm going to put them kind of creasing above. But I don't want obviously too much. Because this is to obviously help um, the shadows pop not that these ones need at all because they are super super pigmented but again aim of the game is to use as much in my collection as I can so that is what we're going to do Bring this out. Back with the purple. And then I'm going to take certain pieces of 38 because I have two of them. And I'm just gonna buff those. And I'm gonna take my towel so I can wipe it off in between. Okay. So first off, I'm taking the pink stack them up and I'm going to go in with this shade here, the Money Tones and I'm going to take my other PC38, yeah, I'm going to take it on my brush and I'm going to Dust that off. Take the purple one. Uh, I'm going to take CEO. And then take the blue one and I'm going to take Talk is Cheap. So I'm taking that, not quite the darkest, it's like the second darkest tone in each palette. And again, over the blue base. Go back into that purple just help and then a bit of 
pink again. Okay, put that brush down and then take PC 39. And then I'm gonna take, do I take a figure or do I take interest? I'm gonna take interest, this one. Half on, half off. Dust it off. And then in the purple, I'm gonna take the shade. Loaded this one on the end, same brush, just dusting it off between. Then I'm going to take the shade Hustle, this one. I'm actually going to dip between Talk is Cheap and Hustle and just... Then I'm going to take my PC 47 and in the pink I'm going to take the shade Investment which is this lightest one here. Sorry about that, my camera so rudely died. Um, right, so I just took Investment from the pink. I'm going to take Priceless which is this one in the purple. Again, I've dusted my brush off. Um, I'm going to use that to blend that middle section. Okay. I'm just going to take a little bit of loaded again. Dust it off, and then in the blue, I'm taking the shade Payday, which is this lightest one here. I'm gonna blend that over the that end portion. Okay, that's not looking terrible. Mm. Happy with how that is looking. Gonna quickly run through those shades again. Let me get my brushes. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly run through all of those shades again, just to make sure they are all as nice and bold as they can be and blended well. Okay, the next thing I need is my cut curler. Uh, oh, good, yeah, no, I do still have another one of these. I thought I'd all run out. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to cut my crease. I'm just going to remove and clean that up under there. I'm going to generously coat my brush. my mirror around a bit and I can get the zoomed inside. I 
then I'm going to take my metal spatula and a wipe and I'm just going to wrap that over and I'm going to use that to remove the the cleanest I have ever managed to get it. I do think watching the live on TikTok the other day helped because I was really struggling to get this right before but now I've watched it and stuff I think it definitely helped uh, right now what I am going to do is I'm going to quickly clean off Actually, no, I'll just use the same brush I used for the purple base because I'm going to apply this. This is the Wet and Set shadow in Lavender Lady. And I'm going to apply that, pardon me, over where I've just cleaned up. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to want to get it like right up to the edges and that. And the neatest way to do that is obviously going to be with a brush. Perhaps I should have just applied this onto the brush. This is my first time using this product, so forgive me if I'm doing it wrong. Try to make sure you can still see me. That's how it's looking. I actually have some pigments and I can't remember if any of these will go with it. So let me grab those. I've got, what did I get? Fairy dust. I have a feeling this one's the green one. Yeah, so that's not for this look. That'll be for my chink of an inspired look. Uh, cupcake club. That one be cute. Um, Bubblegum bay. I think this is darker pink. Oh, actually, you no, know, I'm going to use that one because that one reflects pink, purple, and blue. I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to take the shade Bubblegum Babe. And I'm gently going. Oh, that's pretty. Let me try some fluffy brush actually. Let me try it on this one. No, let me try it on that one. Colour. More. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, my husband's driving me. I'm gonna finish this while I'm on the phone to my husband. Okay, so that looks absolutely beautiful. That is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I can't believe I can't be great. Okay. What else did I have on for this look? Liner, obviously. I felt like I had something going, I wanted something around that crease. I'm gonna leave it for the moment. I'm going to go off and do the other eye and I'll do like my eyeliner and stuff. I may put something just to make like a definitive line between the pigment and the rest of it. I feel like it needs something. 
but I don't know what. So I'm going to go off, do all of that. I'll do my other eye, come back once I've got my foundation concealer on because I'm going to use my bases for like cream blush and bronzer. I have my blush and bronzer palettes, etc. So I'll be back in a minute for you in about 20 for me. Right, so other eyes done, base done. I did go around it with the white uh, fresh ink paint, but it, mm, I'm not crazy on it, but I really can't do much about it at this point apart from take it off and start again. And I haven't got time for that. So I'm going to use my Winter Rose base to do my blush and my base in number six for my cream bronzer. So I'm just literally going to dot them on, blend them in. I'm going to take this little, I love this Raw Techniques brush, this is the 418. Quite a home bargain, I had a few of them. So I'm going to use that obviously to just blend that in. <laughs> that looks even crazier on camera. Um, I will use my foundation brush just to help. I definitely put too much on the forehead. I'm really bothered if I get it in my hair too much because I have to wash my hair later anyway. So. Put a tiny, tiny bit of foundation on the back of my hand. Literally, not even half a pump. That's a bit better. A bit better. Obviously, it won't look so drastic once I set my face and stuff. So then I'm going to take the Winter Rose one and. I prefer using a brush rather than a sponge because you do get more uh, pigment doing it this way. Okay, I'm going to quickly set my face, I'm going to use my She Glam powder because I love that one if I can get it out. Here we go. I'm going to use the top bit with the powder puff. I'm gonna take whatever's left on my brush I use my contour and just and then I'm gonna take my Pigamy's brush. This one, this is the 681 brush. This just to set around the rest of my face. Okay. And then take this little brush and I'm going to take my new Pick Your Pan bronzer palette. I'm going to take Cheeky Chai first and I may use Adoring Amber in a second. Oh no, that's a good shade. 
I did look and you can't get these particular shades on the website yet. Yeah, you can get other ones, but these ones that we got in the budget box last month um, aren't available yet. That's nice, it's got like a really slight sheen to it. Then I'm gonna take my Get Me Blushing blusher palette and I'm gonna use the first shade, which if I can get it out, is called Got You Blushing. Which is this one, I may take a touch of that fuchsia one. hand um actually don't want to go to take a touch touch more there we go okie dokie um what's left under eyes oh what do i want to do for under eyes i know what i want i want to use my raver paint i'm gonna put this in my waterline I'm gonna bring that underneath as well. and I'm literally just gonna smudge that a bit before it's set. I'm gonna take a little bit on that brush. brush take the black paint and I'm going to attempt that inner corner wing I'm gonna just stamp it throw some lashes on which I will be peel away um, and then we'll do lip and then we will be done back in a sec okay lashes are on I used bill please um, I'm trying to decide what liner to use normally I would use faithful but I feel like I might use standards instead which is that bit darker it's that one that's Wild Walnut, that's Standards, and that's Faithful. Um, you know what, actually, I'll do Faithful first, and if I don't like it, then I can go over it with the other one. take semi nude and can't resist semi nude first and then can't resist to light it up in the middle
So that is semi nude. Yeah, what is this, which is a super, super light nude. In the middle. And then I'm going to take my lip liner again and just go around the edge of that top lip just to make sure it's all blended. Um, I don't have P. Lewis highlighter, so I'm just going to use my Glow Commotion one, as always. I love this one. I feel like something's missing, but I don't know what. I don't know. I want to go sort my hair out. And that, and then that final thoughts. Right, I am done. This is the final look. I do feel like there is something missing. Don't know what. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. Let me zoom you in. You can see the pretty pigment and stuff that I used. It is gorgeous. It refits like blue and pink and purple. It is so, so pretty. That was the bubblegum babe one. Um, and I'm very excited to use the other two that I have. Let's zoom back out. So yeah, this is the final look. This is how it turned out. So I used all three stack em ups. I used one of my pigments, two lip bases, lip liner, lashes. And then I used pink purple and blue I should right, hold on three three palettes three matching bases plus base number two three paints lashes two lip bases lip pencil pigment brow stuff we're up to 16 products that I've used so far and I'm sure I used something else oh no sorry 17 I used the brown base for my cream bronzer stuff oh bronzer and uh blusher palettes of 19 I'm sure there's something else so we'll say 19 that I've used which I don't think is bad at all but it's not including the brushes that I use because a lot of I did use them some of my peeler ones as well so yeah all in all I'd say this was a success it was fun um I think maybe some gems or something would complete this. I don't know. But either way, I like it. It looks really, really pretty. As always, love all the stuff I've used. No surprise there. And yeah, I hope you like the look. If you do, then let me know down in the comments below. Also, do not forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, all of that good stuff. You know how it goes. I will link all of this or all I can. I'll see the pigments I can't. Um, because these specific ones aren't available yet. There are other shades. Um, but I will link everything that I can in the description box for you. Um, socials, again, up here. Also linked down below in the description. Along with my Patreon, Amazon, all of that good stuff. And, yeah. That is me done for this video. Um, I'm glad I, I sat down and did this. Because I've been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks. So, yeah fun I think it looks I think it looks good um but yeah if there's any other specific videos that you guys want to see let me know in the comments or keep an eye on my Instagram stories where I put the little question box thing suggestions up and yeah that is me done I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one bye